Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and yeah, we're about to take a look at Jordan Peterson uh, making a prediction about Will and Jada's marriage last year. Uh, and with the Oscar slap and what happened, let's see if Jordan Peterson's magic ball was right again. And also, this video is brought to you by my Patreon, the link's below, but I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Let's get into it. And I got into an entanglement with August, that's what I said. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times and it, you know, not involving romanticism. Mm -hmm. He gave me his blessing and I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know, and I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Please give your perspective on why polyamory is bad for the individual and society. Well, I think the fundamental reason is, there's a bunch of reasons. I mean, the first is, society seem to function better, that is less violently, let's say, when there's one woman per man. If there's many women per man. There aren't many women for every man. There are a handful of men, let's say a minority of men, a Pareto distribution of men who have a disproportionate number of women and a lot of men who have none. And those aren't happy men, let's put it that way. I'm going to say this right here. Um, so he's not making a prediction specifically about Will and Jada, but he's talking about polyamory and these kind of open marriages. Now, I've heard people say, well, then we should do, that's the way things should be. But this is the reality. That is actually what's happening right now. And I don't think men who advocate for that actually realize that's what's happened in the dating world. It's not polyamory in terms of a marriage, open marriage. But how many women, what he's talking about, how when there's only a small percentage of men that will get the majority of women and the men who don't have women will essentially protest, feel some kind of way. And it would cause violence because the top chats, this is what we have going on. A lot of people don't realize this is polyamory. The top chats are having multiple women, multiple wives and guys in the 80% are struggling to find one. And let's not even talk about if you're below average. So anybody who's advocating for that, I don't think you realize you're already in that world and men are not liking it. Women don't like it either. But for some reason, people think that that's going to be an answer. And it really is not because it will disproportionately make all the chads have multiple women to choose from and harem. And then those women don't want to deal with average guys or regular guys because they have some type of access to that chat. Uh, there are men who are very likely to get up to no good very rapidly. So there's that. Then I would say the women who let's say a man has many women and let's say he's a desirable man for that matter just for the sake of argument if he has a variety of women then those women don't have much of him so they don't get to establish a real individual relationship with him because it's going to be fragmentary and I don't believe that that's satisfying for people I think that what you want as much as you possibly can is to have people around you with whom you can weave your life together over the short term, medium term and long term. It adds depth to your life in a way that almost nothing else can. And so what you do, and so I've been speaking more about permanent polyamorous relationships. You might ask, well, what about sequential ones where, you know, you're, which is in some ways indiscriminate, indiscriminate, indiscriminable from, uh, um, well, from just casual sleeping around. Um, I think the problem with that is that to sleep around casually is to imply that sex is casual. To imply that sex is casual is to assume implicitly that it can be divorced from the rest of life, emotional life, motivational life, values, all of that. And you can divorce it, but you pay a big price for that. I, th I think the price you pay is like the virtual it's it it 
Well, the word psychopathic keeps leaking, leaping to mind, leaking to mind. <laughs> yeah, good old Freud. Um, you have to reduce a person to the casual pleasure of a transient sexual interaction in order to sleep around casually. And I think that once you establish that as a habit with sex, which is a deep, a deep experience, if you'll, if you'll do that with sex, which is a deep experience, then, and you learn how, then what makes you think that won't transfer to everything else that you do? I don't see how it can fail to. So, you know, you could say, well, monogamy isn't a very good solution. It's like, well, life is a fatal, sex, fatal, what is a sexually transmitted disease with a 100% fatality rate too. You know, there's lots of really complex problems for which we only have the best answer we can come up with, which is not, not a utopian answer. But I would say, and I think the evidence supports this as well, that stable monogamy is the best solution that we know of. And it's also the minimum necessary requirement for the stability of children. So polyamory, it's wrong. It's wrong, it makes men violent. It increases inequality in, in, in the manner that makes things dangerous. It, makes it impossible for women to have a deep relationship with men. It makes it, it facilitates the, uh, what would you call it? The transformation of sex into something casual and then that spills out into the, into the rest of the world. Um, it deprives the people who engage in it of the opportunity of establishing a stable, long-term, long-term mutually, uh, mutually satisfying it's more than that mutually beneficial relationship you know because a good a good marriage the people in it g gain more than <laughs> they're more than twice as good right it it the 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 benefits aren't precisely linear so you lose that it destabilizes the situation for children there you go man that's a lot of so yeah, so I think essentially the what I'm taking away from this, and you can see if you flip the coin, okay, where Jada was really in the open polyamory side of things, having a full-blown for years relationship, open relationship with August Alsina, that does not sit well with a man. A man who accepts his wife sleeping around with other women, what he talked about, that gets violent. And I think between women who accept polyamory, um, especially if you're not under some religious sect that's enforcing that, or you grew up with it, where it's like your complete mindset, but you're doing it to share a chat, you can see where that doesn't work as well. Women are usually miserable. They try to, they, they don't behave better because the man has multiple women, you know, they generally will end up getting their needs met somewhere else because they're not having access to that man all the time. And I'm not saying marriage, especially here in the U S which if you learn what, how even marriage certificates came about in this country. It's mind blowing. Not saying that that is the answer either. Leave a comment, like I said, and also make sure you guys um, uh, check out my Patreon. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff over there. Ask me any things. Y'all, people keep texting me. Ask me any things, uh, live streams, live Q and A's. Um, also, one of my tiers, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to grow a YouTube channel pretty fast. As you know, I got 60,000 subscribers last month. Um, I'm a veteran on YouTube, if you don't know, six years going, and it's not just because of pretty face. Uh, as some people like to think, that's not how, it, how it's done. In fact, the biggest channels on YouTube, I dare say, are very average looking people or even below average. But somehow their personality, their, their strategy, their content strategy is winning for them so please don't to blame it on someone's or to to count it oh i can't do it because it looks you've already failed you've already counted yourself out and honestly you're full of excuses and if you want to build passive wealth i don't know a better way than youtube right now so uh anyway make sure you check me out on patreon melanie king official links below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye